Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead here on OracleTechsHomePage.com as well as the OracleTechsHomePage.com app. And as we look at the weather pattern, you can see the upper level ridge as we've been talking about for the last couple of days, still centered off to the west of the Oracle Tex. Uh, we will see uh, still a chance as we have a weakness here, uh, we, uh, basically from the Oracle Tex and points east. You can see these showers and thunderstorms much more widespread uh, to the east of the Oracle Tex. But we have seen some spotty activity across the region today. Expect that uh, spotty activity to pop up uh, basically each day through Wednesday. And then this ridge is going to expand to the east, settle right over us, and that will shut off the rain and result in some of the hottest temperatures of the summer so far late this week into the weekend. Here's a look at uh, temperatures tonight. Uh, pretty typical, low to middle 70s across the region. Daytime highs across the Oracle Tex tomorrow will climb back up into the upper 80s, low 90s across the north, and the low to middle 90s further to the south. Uh, right around 94 tomorrow in Shreveport, 93 in Natchitoches, 91 degrees for the high temperature in Atlanta, and 89 for the high in Texarkana. Here's a look at Robin Sarda Futurecast. Again, as we work our way through the evening, those spotty showers will rapidly end as we start to cool off. As again, the rain today and for the next couple of days will basically be generated by the heat of the day. Lose that heat, you'll lose the thunderstorms. You can see as we go through uh, the day tomorrow, uh, we'll begin to see those pop-up showers by noon tomorrow. And again, kind of hit or miss stuff, not really going to move very much. So if you get some rain, it's going to have to develop pretty much right over the top of you. And that'll be the case for tomorrow. That activity will wind down tomorrow evening. And then we'll do the same thing all over again Tuesday with a mix of clouds and sunshine. And again, the spotty showers and thunderstorms. Also expect to see quite a few early morning clouds, which will take a couple of hours to give way to that cloud-sun mixture. Meantime, as we go through the uh, next several days, again, severe weather not going to be a risk for tomorrow, as again, the activity will be very isolated. And rainfall, not something that you can really count on. You can see if you get some rain, chances are it's not going to be very much. As uh, generally speaking, you might expect to see uh, that quick downpour drop maybe uh, as much as a quarter of an inch. But most of us will see totals that will be less from now through the middle of the work week. Here's a look at that weather pattern. You can see the ridge gradually expanding more towards the east, and it will settle. Uh, you can see by the time we get to next weekend, notice the streamlines here with the center of those streamlines, that clockwise circulation centered over east Texas. That's why the rain will gradually shut off here starting Thursday and probably will continue with dry weather uh, through next weekend and perhaps into uh, next week. So it looks like uh, we go from hot, humid with at least some hope for some rain to basically just hot and humid by the time we wrap up the next seven days. So speaking of those next seven days, here's your seven-day forecast as we're looking at highs. Uh, that will be in the mid-90s for the next couple of days. Those should warm up into the upper 90s here by the time we get to the weekend. Nighttime lows for the most part across the Oracle Tex will settle into the uh, low to middle 70s for the next few nights. Again, eventually we'll settle into the mid to upper 70s as we close the uh, weekend, work week, and head into the weekend. And again, nothing too significant as far as rainfall once we get past, actually for the next seven days, nothing significant as we'll probably have to wait until uh, sometime next week to see a little bit of a break and perhaps another surge of cooler air, which will move into the eastern sections of the country. So again, so far this summer, the hottest temperature recorded so far, at least uh, through yesterday, 96. It looks like we will surpass that as we go towards next weekend.